Hey guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that continues to frustrate me and it has really been at its height of fuckery over the last few weeks and months and that is YouTube and more specifically the YouTube copyright system. Now don't worry about the next buy I hate, I'm working on making that before I go away to America on Thursday. I'll be back on Monday so it won't cut into production too much but I'm trying to get as much together for me leaving so that when I come back I won't lose any days because I'll be working on the flight over and in my hotel and stuff like that. So, quite a few YouTubers have spoken out about this before but honestly I very much want to throw my own hat into the ring and talk about it today. And how basically any of your favourite channels on YouTube could be nuked into another dimension with absolutely no notice. Thankfully I have been spared the swinging dick of YouTube's copyright system so far, although Machinima are quite literally combing over my account, going as far as to manually claim unlisted videos that I have never even fucking released whenever they find content belonging to their biggest investor, Warner Brothers. Unfortunately, a number of my friends and channels I greatly admire haven't been quite as lucky as myself. 2015 has been a year filled with ridiculous shenanigans and complete misuses of the YouTube content ID system and 2016 has really been kicked off with a similar shit show. From Adam from Your Movie Sucks dealing with almost constant bullshit, not because he does film reviews but because of the nature of his film reviews, to game companies like Digital Homicide trying to silence criticism with Jim Sterling. I hate everything getting into a battle with Derek Savage, creator of Cool Cat, to his channel being shut down a few days ago for mass flagging that resulted in YouTube basically saying that his content was unwanted and repetitive. From Sam Pepper, Lord of the Shit Munchers, slapping two of my good friends amongst a number of other people, Pyrocynical and Vagabonds with copyright strikes because they criticised his content. After I've written all this script and during recording the process of this video, a friend of mine even, Rage Elixir, had his channel mass flagged and terminated for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Do you see a trend with the nature of the channels that are getting hit with all this bullshit at all here? Your movie sucks. I hate everything. Both pretty explanatory. Jim Sterling, a game critic. Pyro and Vaga, both channels that commentate on popular topics. Quite a lot of the time that being a criticism of that content. Although despite this, Rage who has over 200,000 subscribers similar to myself, he creates Minecraft videos and I'm not talking school shooting role plays here, he makes innocent content that is by no stretch of the imagination spam, unwanted or inappropriate for YouTube. Despite this, it has been two fucking days since his channel was terminated and there is absolutely no sign of it being reinstated anytime soon. So it's not just kind of criticism channels that are at risk here. Anyone, any single YouTuber that you enjoy could be pulled into this shit. I find it continuously frustrating that on an almost week to week basis I see outcry from my friends on Twitter for egregious claims against their channel, whilst reaction channels like Jinx and the legion of other fucking gormless channels that are comprised of morons dribbling into a fucking webcam whilst they occasionally crack a fucking smile don't get as much as a third party claim. And the reason for that being is that the YouTube copyright system is massively, massively fucked. Anyone can quite literally make any claim on any videos and that video can be removed without notice. Years ago another friend of mine, Snipers, had one of his videos taken down for two fucking weeks because of a copyright claim on it. So who was it that claimed? Was it was it Warner Brothers? Was it 20th Century Fox? Well as a matter of fact, it's not a big corporation, it's not a big news company. It was in fact just some fucking random Russian kid who thought it would be really funny to try and get the video taken down. See the way that the copyright system works on YouTube is that they have a shoot first, ask questions later mentality. After Pyro had his video pulled down by Sam Pepper, Sam went on Twitter to say that the fact that the video got pulled was a testament to the fact that his video wasn't fair use. Sam putting a lot of faith into YouTube doesn't seem to realise that a human does not review any of these copyright claims. A robot does. And that robot is programmed to make sure YouTube is not liable for someone uploading a whole fucking film to YouTube and suffering a hefty lawsuit and damages for not doing anything possible to get rid of it. Another paper thin argument that Sam threw out at the time was that the whole you didn't ask permission for my footage which I see fucking constantly used in defence of these people and I have a serious piece of information for anyone who has ever used this argument. If content is fair use, if you are criticising, commentating, transforming or parodying content, you do not need to ask permission from the source material to actually use it. 
Of course, you can be courteous and ask for permission to use it, but honestly, do you think Sam Pepper is going to be like, Hey guys, uh, yeah, just like use my footage and just fucking criticize and use my footage and criticize the horrible choices that I've made in my life uh, that have led me to this haircut. The same goes for if people want to use my content to parody it, if they want to use it in some other kind of video. I don't give a shit, you don't need to ask me, fucking just go and do it. Like, if it is creative, then I don't fucking care. Even if someone made a huge 10 minute fucking hate video about me, saying that I'm an asshole, saying that all my videos are shit, and, pr and using my footage as proof that I am shit, like, you know, bad editing parts or something, I'm not gonna take the video down just because I don't like it, because I have no fucking legal ground to actually do that. So obviously from Sam Pepper, the answer would be no, but it's still fair use, the content is also importantly not cutting into the market that Sam Pepper has which is an incredibly important component of what constitutes fair use. So for instance you don't watch a pyrocynical video on Sam Pepper so that you can watch a Sam Pepper video. You watch it because you likely don't like Sam Pepper and therefore are not cutting into Sam Pepper's market because you're not going to watch his videos you're going to watch videos on him talking about why he's a shithead. And it works similarly with movie reviews. Movie reviews do not cut into the viewer market of movies because you watch a movie review to learn more about the movie, not to get the same experience as you would by actually watching the movie. Exactly the same with Let's Plays. If you're a subscriber of PewDiePie, you watch a PewDiePie video for PewDiePie. You're not cutting into the market of whatever game he is playing because you are there for him. The game is just background footage. It is not important. It is just something that he can bounce off of to create content with. So YouTube covers its ass by taking down quite literally any video it receives a claim for, which is good for them, it's good for movie companies who don't want their movie being watched for free, but who has two thumbs and gets fucked by that system on a daily basis? So despite content creators being the foundation that YouTube is built on, it has absolutely no faith in those content creators not to get YouTube a massive fucking lawsuit for copyright infringement. So they would much rather just pull the video down as quickly as possible rather than suffer the ball ache of potentially dealing with a legal team. If I was to get a copyright strike, the chances are I would be pretty fucked. Machinima are actively trying to find new and imaginative ways to fuck me. Most recently, they've been blaming me for hacking their Instagram and calling me a domestic terrorist. But if I get a strike at all, I would have absolutely no one to turn to because despite all these machinima shenanigans, they want my videos on them to be pulled down and I've refused to do that. So I get strikes. Hey, we get rid of a nuisance to our network and the videos go away forever. Win fucking win. The YouTube copyright system is not meant to be used to silence criticism, but honestly at this point it's almost become a common occurrence when I see it because it always fucking ends the same way. A YouTuber copyright claims another YouTuber, the person who receives a strike makes a video calling the first person out, people get absolutely fucking livid with anger as they quite rightly should because censoring free speech is fucking lame as heck. The person doing the claiming pussies out because of the backlash or tries to pass the buck onto their network like Prank Invasion did when full screen claimed H3H3 Productions videos on him. Every single time the person being claimed just games good PR and the person doing the claiming gets a shitload of bad PR. It has never once been worth doing and yet we see it time and time again. Despite all precedent to the contrary, there's always going to be a shitty game company or a shitty content creator who let the fame just go to his head a little bit too much and suddenly they think they are the exception to the rule. Everyone loves an underdog story and I can assure you that it never ends well for the person trying to do the striking. If content production is actually going to fucking go anywhere on YouTube, YouTube needs to actually reassure the people bringing in 99% of the traffic to their fucking website that their careers and their livelihoods are not going to self-destruct in the space of 15 minutes because some retard in a yurt decided to fuck around with the copyright claim forms. If you see anything like this happen, you have my fully fledged permission to make us think about it because the only way things seem to get solved nowadays is by fucking screaming until the person you're pissed off at complies. I'm sorry about my voice, it's a little bit fucked and I'm sorry that uh, it's not a why I hate video but this is something that's really important to me and I hope it's really important to you because it means that your fucking favourite YouTubers can disappear. I may not be your favourite YouTuber but I could disappear tomorrow if a group of people decided they wanted to be gone. If uh, some com- if some fucking- if Machinima decided they wanted to fucking strike three of my videos, even if they have no rights to any of those videos, they could take my channel down. Uh, and it can happen to anyone. It can happen from me to PewDiePie. And obviously now PewDiePie is probably, he's got contacts at Google. He's probably safer. He can get it sorted. Not everyone is quite as lucky as to have those contacts. And um, now I don't exactly like the guy, but Sofalo Antonio, 
1.8 million subscribers on Soulful Comedy had his channel completely taken down. Pyrocynical came within days of his channel being taken down and he has uh, I think 450, 400, between 450 and 500,000 subscribers right now. Um, he was within like 48 hours of his channel just completely being deleted uh, over completely fucking wrong claims uh, on his channel. Uh, and you know, we obviously, Rage Elixir who never harms anyone, doesn't make content that is inappropriate or offensive or even controversial in any way doesn't call anyone out, makes kind of just harmless fucking videos and his channel just being fucking deleted like that. Didn't get a warning, didn't even so much as get a fucking strike, just channel gone, boom, completely deleted. I, I was literally talking to him a week ago, two weeks ago and I was trying to like motivate him to like go full time on YouTube and like push to like finish his school, finish school and then you know work your ass off and his, and his fucking channel is deleted. So fucking what the hell? Like this can't happen. This isn't this doesn't work. Like uh, I'm I'm not even reading off a script anymore, man. This is just this is fucked. I like, honestly, w where does YouTube expect this to go? If if everyone that ever makes content for them and brings them all their money, people that bring them tens of thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, just fucking get deleted off of their platform, and they don't have they don't give a shit because they don't have any way of contacting them. They, we don't, we have no, there's, we have nothing to contact them, so if our fucking channel gets deleted, we have to fill in a form and wait for a robot to fucking review it, and that, and that robot is incredibly fucking strict, like, oh, fuck, dude, sorry, Jesus, um, it's, it's, it's fucking, it's fucked, guys, anyway, new I hate coming soon, uh, hopefully before America, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going away on Thursday, so, this sh yeah, well, ho hopefully I'll get one out by then. Anyway, thank you guys.